Well, hello there. This is a video from Mrs. Ehrman to all of my uh, Wyandotte Cares religious ed fifth graders. If you came um, on May 13th and picked up your packet over at St. Paul Lutheran Church, then you should have had a packet that looks like this inside. Now, if you did not come by, um, but you still have the postcard I sent you, my phone number is on there. So please let me know because we want to make sure that somehow you get this. Um, and you can make this bracelet. But I'm going to show you how to make the bracelet, so um, you can always come back to this later if you want to. So this is what mine uh, would look like at the at the end. I want you to, I don't know if you can see that closely. There are some letter beads in there, and it says, I spy God. That was our theme in fifth grade all year, and we got to see a lot of things from the Old Testament where we uh, saw uh, what God was like. And so I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. Now, it's got a bunch of different little tiny beads. So the first thing uh, you need is you need maybe a, a plate or something that you could put the beads in so they don't go all over the place and fall on the floor. You need some tape, you need some safe scissors, and of course you need your um, bracelet packet. And for me, because I'm a lot older than you guys, I need glasses that help me see these tiny beads up close. So you probably don't need the glasses, but I do. So the first thing is you pour out your beads and pull out your cord, your stretchy cord. And those of you who are and they're with us in fourth grade, you remember kind of how we did this. The first thing you're going to do is lay your cord down and take a piece of tape. And you want to tape your cord uh, from your left hand side about maybe two or three inches from the end. Sometimes the cord doesn't want to cooperate. All right, so you tape that down. And then you basically just, um, you, know, you can sort your beads by color if you want. There's nothing special about the color, but you do want to make sure that you get your letters in the right order so that you spell them and I would encourage you to make sure that you put them on your cord right side up. Make sure they're spelled correctly and the words aren't backwards. So it says I spy God. So you can get those out and have those kind of uh, wherever you want them. You can put these on however you like. So I'm just going to start and put the beads on. But I want to remind you that of some of the things that we learned this year in um, religious yeah, from the Old Testament about God. One of the first things we learned was that God made everything. He created all that there is. He created the first man and first woman, Adam and Eve. And uh, even after they chose to disobey him and rebel against him, he still loved them and made a way for them to have a relationship with him. Um, we learned that, that God provided a way for Noah to be saved from the judgment of sin and, and that he loved everybody so much he wanted all the people to be spared um, when he sent the flood. Um, we just found out so much about how God gives us chance after chance to come to know him. And then we found out that God chose a man named Abraham. And uh, Abraham was, was, was a man that God told he would bless and that all the peoples on earth would be blessed through him. And God made a nation out of Abraham. That nation ended up being called Israel. And through Israel, the nation of Israel, um, Jesus came and Jesus is our Savior. Okay, so I'm going to get back to our beads here. If you want to put your eye on there, the eye goes first. doesn't matter which way you put that on. It looks the same either way. So you can put that on and add some more beads. Well, anyway, through the family of Abraham, through the, through the people of Israel, God would eventually send his son, Jesus, our Savior. And so really, we found out that as we spy God in the Old Testament, we're really seeing um, how God was preparing the world for his son, Jesus, to come. So I'm just going to... Continue to put these beads on, and you do the best you can to follow along with me. Well, when you get done with it or get close to being done, I just want to encourage you to, to make sure that the, there are enough beads on your bracelet to go around your wrist. Some of you have smaller wrists, some of you have bigger ones, so I think that looks big enough for me. When you get enough beads on there, um, you take your tape, take it out of your tape, make sure you hold both ends. And this is the tricky part, this is the hardest part. So what you want to do is pull the cord pretty, uh, pretty hard there because it, I don't think it'll break. And then tie it off like you maybe would a balloon, if you've ever done that. And so tie the knot as close to the beads as you can. Make sure it's real tight, okay, so it doesn't come undone. And then pull it from the inside. That'll kind of help tighten that knot there. And just to be safe, we're gonna make another knot, okay? So pull it again and try to get a knot right on top of your other one. Now, if you need help, it's okay to go ask 
Maybe somebody could help you do that, but I bet you can do this yourself, okay? And make sure you pull it again real tight. I don't think it'll break, and we want to make sure it doesn't fall apart. So then you cut it off maybe to a half an inch, and there you go. There you have your I Spy God bracelet. And you know what's cool? Is during this time where a lot of people are thinking, you know, maybe did God forget us? I want you to remember that God is working even now through this crisis that we've been in. And we can see evidence of him everywhere through people that are helping others, through, um, through the way that, that maybe you are loving your family. Um, and we see God protecting people and, some, and in some cases working miracles. But you know what? We can also mostly see God's love and the way he sent Jesus to save us from our sins. So you could use this, maybe share the story of Jesus with your friends, with your family.